Okay, so here we are. So now, people, be I'm I'm am working the camera myself. So, like I say, I'm going to try and get better. So, listen, over here we have our dry, great northern beans. They have been rinsed. I picked on to make sure that I get all the rocks out of them. Just give them another rinse and give them a good shake. And these are dry beans. Dry beans. I did not soak them. As you can see, I did not soak them. I just, I went through and picked out the, make sure that there wasn't any rocks or anything. Get them, and then I rinsed them. So now I'm going to bring them. Now this, I'm going to put them in a crock pot. Now you see, as you see, we got our crock pot here. Now, what do we need for these beans? We have a tablespoon of salt. And I know you put us a lot of salt. We have a tablespoon of sugar. A teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. And I know you're like, oh my, that's a lot of salt. Trust me on this, it would not. And then I'm going to put some water in here. And um, now you notice, folks, I am not putting any meat or anything in here. You don't have to always have meat when you're cooking beans or greens and things. You can season them when you don't even need any meat. That should be enough. And then I'm going to turn our pot on high. I'm going to start the crock pot cooking out on high. And I'm also going to pour some fried meat grease in there. That is to give it that seasoning. Now, we're going to give this a stir. Stay with me, people. Stay with me. We're going to give it a good stir. Now, once you give it that good stir, you will not have to um, deal with this for the next. I, once again, I, I'm working this camera, you all. Bear with me. Anyway, once you give it a good stir, you will not have to bother with these. You maybe want to make... Want to check it in about an hour, and, and you we're going to let these cook for about four hours in the slow cooker. Now, if you put, and that's because I got it on high, but if you put it on low, you put these on at night before you go to bed. If you put it on low, you can put them on at night before you go to bed, and you can have these to cook for um. All night on low, or you can put them on in the morning before you go to work, and they will cook for while you at work. So, okay, I'll get back to you when they are when our product. Uh, I will get back to you when the. I will get back to you when the um, I will get back to you when the product is finished. Maybe I should just tuck it around. So we got our great northern beans on. We're going to let those cook for about, like I say, four hours. So what I put in, I took a uh, that was a two pound bag of great dry northern beans. I put a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar. Uh, a teaspoon and a half of uh, garlic powder and a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And I put maybe that might have been maybe a quarter cup of uh, one third of a cup of fried meat grease or cooking oil, used cooking oil that you have already fried chicken or pork chops or whatever you fried in it. You can use bacon grease. And, and then I put maybe two cups of water in the crock pot. So, um, we'll let those cook. So now let's get on to our next adventure.
I will pause though while I set up. Thanks. So let's now let's look at our uh, pinto beans. We know that they are ready. They've been cooking for a little over four hours. And as you can see, they have gotten thickened. Look at them. Don't they look tasty? So, you all, I am holding this camera. Like I said, bear with me. And I'm going to put some in my, and we're going to taste them. Okay, and um, you know they they really look good. Um, 